my class. Hello, dear children. I'm glad to see you today. Рада вас бачити. My name is Natalie, and you are watching Interclass. Ви дивитесь Interclass. Get ready for our new lesson. Приготуйтесь до нашого нового уроку. Kids, do you remember last year we learned body parts? Дітки, пригадайте, минулого року ми вивчали тему частини тіла. I'm sure you remember all the words from it. Я впевнена, ви пам'ятаєте всі слова з цієї теми. Let's revise them one more time. Давайте їх повторимо ще раз. Watch the chant, please. This is my head. This is my head. This is my hair. This is my hair. This is my face. This is my face. These are my eyes. These are my eyes. These are my ears. These are my ears. This is my mouth. This is my mouth. These are my teeth. These are my teeth. This is my nose. This is my nose. This is my tongue. This is my tongue. These are my cheeks. These are my cheeks. This is my chin. This is my chin. This is my neck. This is my neck. These are my shoulders. These are my shoulders. This is my back. This is my back. This is my belly. This is my belly. This is my butt. This is my butt. These are my arms. These are my arms. This is my elbow. This is my elbow. This is my hand. This is my hand. These are my fingers. These are my fingers. These are my legs. These are my legs. These are my knees. These are my knees. These are my feet. These are my feet. These are my toes. These are my toes. In the class. Good for you. So today we will learn words that will help us to describe appearance. Тож сьогодні ми вивчимо слова, що допоможуть нам описувати зовнішність. Watch the presentation and remember all new words. Подивіться презентацію та запам'ятайте нові слова. Appearance. Зовнішність. Appearance. A wrinkle. Зморшка. A wrinkle. A freckle. Ластовиння. A freckle. A mustache. Вуса. A mustache. A beard. Борода. A beard. Brunette hair. Чорняве волосся. Blonde hair. Біляве волосся. Dark blonde hair. Русяве волосся. Red hair. Руде волосся. Straight hair. Пряме волосся. Wavy hair. Хвилясте волосся. Curly hair. Кучеряве волосся. A plate. Коса. A ponytail. Хвіст. In the class. Well done. Okay, children. Now let's watch the video and learn how to describe people. А зараз давайте подивимось відео і вивчимо, як правильно описувати людину. Listen and be attentive. Слухайте та будьте уважними. Hair lens Short hair He has gold short hair Long hair 
She has got long hair. Shoulder length hair. She has got shoulder length hair. Hair shape. Straight hair. She has got straight hair. Curly hair. They have got curly hair. Wavy hair. He has got wavy hair. Hair color. Blonde hair. He has got blonde hair. White hair. She has got white hair. Brown hair. She has got brown hair. Hair. Color. Black. She has got black hair. Red. He has got red hair. In back class. It's time to check how you remember the words. Добре, час перевірити, як ви запам'ятали слова. We will practice to describe different people. Ми потренуємось описувати різних людей. Describing people. Опис людей. Red hair, curly hair, freckles. She is a child. She has got red curly hair. She has got freckles. Dark blonde hair, mustache, beard. He is an adult. He has got dark blonde hair. He has got a mustache. He has got a beard. Brunette hair. Plate. She is a teenager. She has got brunette hair. She has got a plate. Gray hair, mustache, wrinkles. He is an old man. He has got gray hair. He has got wrinkles. He has got a mustache. Blonde hair. Ponytail, straight hair. She is a young person. She has got straight blonde hair. She has got a ponytail. In back class. Well done, kids. Чудова робота. That's all for today. Це все на сьогодні. Your home task is to describe your family in English. Ваше домашнє завдання – описати кожного в вашій родині на англійській мові. See you later. Побачимось пізніше. Take care and goodbye. Interclass. Hi there. It's team time with Interclass. My name is Alexey and I'm glad to see you here again. Today we are going to talk about many interesting things. We will speak about appearance, we will describe people, and we will understand what is the difference between in time and on time. So don't click your channel and let's get started. In back class. And today we will describe people and their appearance. Actually, our next video will help you to boost your vocabulary. 
She's thin. She's overweight. She's slender. She's stunning. He's tall. He's flabby. He's heavy set. She's curvy. She's beautiful. He's handsome. They are attractive. He's good looking. She's lovely. She's mysterious. He's chubby. He's husky. She's slim. She's plain. She's plump. She's cute. She's hot. He's in good shape. He's strong. <laughs> in third class. Definitely good words to boost your vocabulary. Try to check your knowledge watching the next video. Good luck. She's thin. She's a vegetarian. She's overweight. She needs to watch her diet and exercise every day. She's slender. She's lucky because she can eat anything she wants. She's stunning. Men are always asking her out. He's tall and a little scary. <laughs> He's flabby. He has a beer belly from drinking too much beer. He's heavy set. He has always been big, even as a young boy. She's curvy. I think most men like curvy women. She's beautiful. She could be a model. He's handsome. He is the most handsome teacher in the school. They are attractive. The Simpson sisters are very attractive. He's good looking. He has many girlfriends. She's lovely. She is so smart and lovely. She's mysterious. She has intense eyes. He's chubby. He needs to lose a few pounds. He's starting to get fat. Be careful. He's husky. Henry is a husky young man. She's
slim. One needs to be slim to fit in a bikini. She's plain. She never wears makeup and she never dresses up. She's plump. She's as plump as a plum. She's cute. She's as cute as a button. She's hot. She is very sexy. He's in good shape. He exercises every day to stay in good shape. In the class. Yesterday we received an email. Our viewer asks what is the difference between in time and on time. Yeah, it's a big question and we are ready to answer it. What is the next presentation and video attentively? On time, in time. On time means obligation or duty. Peter wants to start the meeting on time. It means it's important for him to start at 9 o'clock. He hardly ever gets to this office on time. It's a traffic jam and he's got stuck in the traffic jam. In time means deadline with enough time to spare before the last moment. The ambulance arrived just in time as a sport. It's spontaneous. It's quiz time. On time means to arrive at the planned time not late or necessarily early, to arrive at any time, to be late for an appointment, to arrive much earlier than you had anticipated. Right answer is to arrive at the planned time, not late or necessarily early. In time means to arrive at the planned time, not late or necessarily early, to arrive at any time, to arrive with enough time to spare, to arrive earlier than you had anticipated. And the right answer is to arrive with enough time to spare. Class. Okay, that's all for today. It's time to say goodbye. See you next week. Go healthy and take care.